Hello viewers, today's top stories include the long-term effects of increased coffee drinkers since Pete McKinnon's epic B-roll montage back in 2019, Matthew Jennings, the claimed sea life cinematographer who faces stock footage controversy, and finally, the weather. Back to you in the studio, JC. Hello viewers, JC here reporting live from London. We have breaking news that Motion VFX has released the M News pack for DaVinci Resolve. But before we get into that, here's the weather. Thank you, Jordan. Now diving deeper into today's video, M News. So as the name suggests, this pack is for everything news related. So if you're looking to spread the news or improve your visuals, this pack is for you. You wanna head over to the effects tab, search the toolbox M News, and you'll find 62 titles, seven effects, and eight transitions. And don't worry if you only have the free version of Resolve, because this pack works without any limitations on both versions. But regardless of the version you have, due to a DaVinci Resolve bug, some of the previews here don't work as they should. So as you can see, when I hover over the bar graph or the call out, the previews work as normal. But as soon as I go to the circular chart and a few of the other ones, the previews just don't quite show up. But not to worry, as soon as you drop them onto the timeline, they do work perfectly. This is to do with the blur effect on the presets. However, it is something we have reported to Blackmagic. So let's go through a few things to show you what this pack can do. As you can see, by default, we have five different bars, so percentages of the votes for different presidential candidates. But I don't wanna to get too political right now, so I wanna change this example and show you how easy it is to customize it to your liking. So you wanna make sure this inspector icon is selected, and then we'll use this section to edit not just this, but every single title, transition, and effect in this pack. One great thing about these motion VFX packs is that they are very intuitive. So starting at the top, these in and out points indicate whether you want the effect to animate in and animate out. Then moving down into the content controls, this is where you control everything. So you have the position where you can move it left or right, up or down, just put those back. You have the scale for size, you also have the rotation. So if most of this, you can kind of leave it as is, but this is where you control everything. Next, we'll get into the graph, and this is where we'll start changing a few things around. So I'm gonna make this three to start. We're gonna spread them out a bit more, and then we're gonna make them a little bit thicker. Cool, looks good to me. The baseline, I think we'll leave that as is. I might make the length shorter so it's just longer. Um, everything else, yep, yeah, looks all good to me. Close that, and we'll get into text controls. So here we have the subtitle one. If you uncheck that, you can see which one it controls. And then if we go further down to the next one, we're gonna be talking about the most popular editing platform. So if I zoom in on this, you can see bar one, 31%, your logo and the bar. So to change that, you just slide the slider here or just put in the number. And here where the logo is, what you want to do is hit browse then it will open up your finder and you're going to put that logo in alternatively you can use text so if i was to go to this drop down menu i can just go to text and then change this to davinci resolve and the same things there but for this i'm gonna go for the logo and that looks all good to me then we'll do the same thing for bar two and three you can see my final cut logo is a little bit small so we'll just size that up then the last thing we're gonna do, if you're on a 4K timeline, make sure you click this 4K quality box just to make sure it is scaled properly when you export, and there you have it. Now we'll get onto some of the actual titles of this pack, and we'll start off with the M News title one. So for this, we'll head up into the inspector, and we'll keep the in and out tabs checked. I'm gonna change the daily report to Sea Life, and then to match the Sea Life theme, we'll change the color of this tab to blue. Check the 4K box, and this one's done. And then going over one more title that has slightly more aspects to it, M News Title 6. So straight away, you can see half the screen is blurred. We have all these text elements and a logo section in the bottom right. So I'll go ahead and modify all the text. So similar to before, in the logo section, you can either choose to have a logo or just choose to have text. So for this example, I'm gonna choose the text. And then to modify that, you'll use the settings down below. So I'll make that a little bit bigger maybe make it a bit bolder and there you have it and then the media controls at the bottom will control everything that is to do with the blur so that is the size the scale the feathering the position everything to do with the blur can be handled in this section so to finish off you again want to make sure you select this 4k quality box
Now these titles are super cool and convenient, but now I'm about to get into my favorite part of this pack. And in my opinion, these can take your video from a seven to a 10. And that means heading over to the effects tab. So if we pick the M News lineup and drag this onto our clip on the timeline, you're gonna see it duplicates it multiple times. And that's obviously not what we want. But for this to work, we're gonna need multiple clips to come together to create a fusion clip. If you want to know how many clips you'll need, just look over to the top right where it tells you how many sources are required. So for this placeholder, we need three. So if I go ahead and delete this placeholder, so now I have my three clips. I will right click and go to create new fusion clip. Now drag on M News lineup. Now you'll see the three different clips. And then going over another effect, you could also use the placeholders to have a picture in picture mode. Maybe you're showing the interview as well as B-roll at the same time. But if you wanna take this to the next level and use some more components inside it, what you will want to do is use a compound clip. So if I delete this placeholder from here, and then right click new compound clip. Then from there, we will now place the placeholder on side. For now, it looks like we have the same thing, but then you can go and open up this compound clip in its own timeline and have all the effects that you'd want on side this clip and whatever you do here will impact it on the main timeline. So I want the name of this person being interviewed as he is the cinematographer who captured the orca whales. And then on top of that, we'll put the time this interview was held. And now going back into the main timeline, you can see now everything we've done inside that compound clip has now represented itself on the main timeline. And this is the result. Finishing off, we'll dive into the transitions. Now for these to look their best, you actually want them to be slightly longer than the default DaVinci Resolve creates. So let's make it around four seconds. And I won't bore you by going into every aspect of these transitions as they work the exact same way as what I've mentioned in this video already. What I will go through though is on this drop zone slide transition, in the inspector you can see a loader which gives you the option to put your own image into the transition. So I hope this has helped to show you what is possible with the M News pack. If you'd like to learn more about this or any other pack, head over to the Motion VFX website or drop a comment down below. But I've been JC and this has been your M News tutorial on DaVinci Resolve.